It's what we're dealing with, but it's sort of working. That spring, Pete made a choice. He would attack the disease. He would make a difference. He would make his fight matter. Peter, you, you see this, you know the prognosis. You live with hope that something can be done. But just give me a sense of, of how you look at the future. You know, my outlook on the future right now is very unclear. Um, I had some, as we all do, plans of uh, grandeur, of having a family, the white picket fence, having a great job, things of that nature. Uh, right now, that's not certain for me. Now, head coach Mike Gambino will present Pete with his framed jersey on behalf of Boston College and the entire PC baseball family. But while he worked to support others, his old team came forward to support him. And I said, all right, Pete, congratulations. You just got hired. I said, what do you mean? I said, you're our new director of baseball operations. You're going to travel with us the rest of the year. You're going to be with us all the way through. You're part of our coaching staff. That was how fun right out here, but we got to make that fun. It's almost like having 35 little brothers. <laughs> No, it's really cool to see them ask questions, genuinely want my opinion, and almost, you know, just look at me as an equal as part of the team. As Pete's physical condition deteriorated, he continued to fight toward a cure. In March 2013, he earned an audience with the Food and Drug Administration in Washington with a simple goal, more attention, and more action. We all know the two to five year lifetime expectancy with person with ALS is completely utterly unacceptable. I ask you, again, let's speed up the process. Let's work together, and let's get this disease a thing of the past. Thank you. You go in, you give these impassioned speeches, people are nodding, people are, tears are coming down their face, they get it, they come up to you afterwards, and you're wondering, okay, so, so what are you going to do about it? What is the action item? What is the goal? Some goals are more personal than others. On June 1st, 2013, Pete married Julie, who he'd met eight months before he was diagnosed. Now, almost entirely confined to a wheelchair, Pete walked her down the aisle. I just love him, and that's that. And Pete's always telling me, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I'm like, haven't we had the worst yet? Like, <laughs> this is it. Okay, enough. Like, can it get better now? It's hard to just watch someone you love so much just... <laughs> You know, their body is just failing, and there's really nothing I can do about it. There's nothing the doctors can do. It's not even that I can't do anything. That's incredibly frustrating. Two and a half years after the diagnosis, he requires a full-time nurse for most daily activities. He uses a feeding tube to eat. He speaks through the use of a computer. And in September, he's due to be a father. Back in May, during one of the last times he was able to talk at all, he described that feeling. I can't imagine. 
So, how did one man with one fight become the center of a social movement? Last month, one of Pete's friends introduced him to the Ice Bucket Challenge, where people are asked to dump a bucket of ice water over their heads and post a moment on social media. The point? To raise awareness and funds for a given charity. Pete couldn't do it himself, but he could ask others to do it for his charity and his cause. ALS. And this is all to raise awareness for ALS and Pete Fridays. Suddenly, athletes all over Boston were doing it. To support ALS and my friend Pete Fridays. Then, athletes across the country. Hi, I'm Sidney Crosby, and I accept Ice Bucket Challenge in support of all those with ALS, especially Pete Fridays. Then, Teams. All right, JT here. Celebrities. One, two, three. Over the head. Families. <laughs> Everybody. In less than a month, the challenge became a viral sensation and a fundraising engine. The ALS Association says donations are up by more than 400% from a year ago. I cannot thank all who have participated thus far enough. ALS has never been talked about this much, so we are hoping to keep the momentum going. The irony is that while Pete Frady's challenged so many others, he never took the challenge himself. So, August 14th, in the perfect place, on a perfect day, the outfield at Fenway, Pete Frady's did what he's asked so many others to do. You ready, Phyllis? <laughs> Pete Frady's and those who love him know the challenge goes on. But thanks to him, now so many others know it too. Wow. It's a great cause and it's working. As of yesterday, so donate ALS some money to ALS. It's raised 11.4 million dollars in ice bucket donations.